Gruner Veltliner is a wine that's been slowly coming on in Northern Michigan. It's been one of those wines that got attention a few years ago and people started planting more and more and more of it. It's an interesting wine from the perspective that it doesn't have any obvious aromatic expression that says it's one thing or another. It's sort of in between a Sauvignon Blanc and a Pinot Grigio from my perspective. And that's what I like about it. It's, it's versatile. It has great acidity. It has these really pretty lemongrass notes that help it just kind of get along with just about everything. It can make for some really unique pairings. So Gruner is just one of those wines that you can age or you can have it right away. I encourage you to just see how it ages, but don't wait too long. I think it's one of those wines that's best enjoyed while it's still crisp and refreshing. Here we have Leora. Leora was our Prosecco inspired wine. We wanted something that would be, be a little bit fruity, still be bubbly, and something that doesn't require you to, to think all these abstract thoughts about why it's good or what you like about it. Something that's just very obvious, very simple, and just easy to enjoy. Leora is made of 100% Pinot Grigio, and it just has a little touch of residual sugar that is barely even noticeable. It is a wine that is suitable across all occasions, and I encourage everyone to just enjoy it often and uh, just enjoy the simplicity of it. Bluff Rankish has gradually become a staple of the Michigan industry, especially Northwest Michigan. Being an Austrian variety, it's well suited to these climates. It, the interesting thing about it is that even though it's a red wine that's very popular, it is very different from your traditionally thought of red wine. You know, when you think about some of the West Coast wines that have dominated over the last couple of decades. So here we have Blau Frankish with its just lighter tones, lighter body. It still has some nice tannin structure to it, but the aromatics are completely different as are the flavors. That's what I like about it. It's really a unique Northwest Michigan cool climate red wine. It has a lot of great flavors from blueberry, raspberry, and even that sort of bizarre cracked black pepper. And you get those notes both on the, on the aroma, on the nose, and as well as on the palate. So have fun with this wine and age it. You need to see both how it does with various dishes and just see how it does over time. This wine does actually age fairly well. I do encourage you though to have it probably within the first six years of its life. Um, just being the, the delicate wine it is, it's really going to peak around three to four years.